Yo guys, how you all doing? Welcome back to another one of Jordy's VR Reviews. And this one we are looking at, Hoffmeister Hills. So this beer was apparently popular back in the 80s, 90s um, in the UK. But you know, I wasn't around in the 80s. And, you know, I was born in 96, so I wasn't exactly able to party in the 80s either. Or drink in the 80s for that fact, so I never tried Hoffmeister. Until now, so this is my first time I'm um, going to be reviewing it. So here we are, guys. Hofmeister Hells. Um, Hells basically means German pale lager, I think. Basically, German pale beer. So um, yeah. And before the comments start, yeah, I know I'm wearing glasses. <laughs> I actually should always be wearing glasses, but I never do in my reviews. But I'm going to start because sometimes my eyes look really lazy on the videos, you know. Um, but yeah. And I can and I can read the beer a bit better as well. So there you go. So Specky Jordy for the win. <laughs> so here we are, guys. Bottle cap, bottle cap, bottle a cap. There we are. It's got this wee dancing bear thing. There we are. Perfect. There we are, guys. So that's quite funny. It's got this bear, no it's not a dancing bear, it's got a bear grabbing a beer for something. Slow brew, so it's a slow brewed, and I think it's also um, called fermented beer. Imported Bavarian lager, pure mineral water, hops and barley. Uh, I don't know what the hell that says there. Something 1516. 15, no idea. That word right there, whatever the heck that word is, right there. Anybody know what that word, that word means? <laughs> but there you are. It's definitely a Bavarian or German word. Um, do you know what? Let's just crack it open, guys. Let's just crack it open and see what it's all about. <laughs> so my first beer review with my glasses on. <laughs> There, guys. I feel a wee bit more comfortable. I can see a lot better. I should have actually always be wearing my glasses, but you know, never really do. A bit, bit of water in there. Always a wee bit of water. Always wash your glasses out. I do dry them with a paper towel as well, but there's always a wee bit of water that ends up just hanging about at the end of the glass. So Hofmeister, and I got this. Um, uh, it was a it was a four pack. I got this a four pack of this. I still have that four pack sitting around. No, I don't. I don't know where it is. I think it was six pound forty nine. Six pound forty nine for a four pack of that stuff from um, the wee off license. It's relatively close to me. Um. In the village area of where I live. Put my bottle cap back on. So here we are, guys. It's not exactly filled the whole the whole glass, has it? Very see-through, very pale. Very, very pale actually. Look at that. That's, that's really pale. Crystal queer appearance. None head to it whatsoever though. Not got a head to it at all. Do you know what? I think I'm gonna get another. I think I'm gonna get another bottle and fold that up a bit. In fact, yeah, I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> Carefully, try not to disturb all the other. Yes. Oh, Easily does it. <coughs> Pop this one open. Yeah, you need that smoke. Yeah, so very pale colour, very light gold. Sorry for the noises in my chair that I'm sitting on, it's completely fucked. I need to get a new one. I've not got rid of that yet. I'm gonna go with the smell now. Oh wow. It's got quite a strong aroma of malt. Red. <sighs> it 
subtle spice. Um, it reminds me of a wheat beer. It reminds me of like a wheat beer. It does. I don't even know if it was wheat brewed with us, but it smells like a wheat beer. It reminds me of like a, a blue moon. It has that kind of wheatiness, that kind of sort of, sort of subtle spicy smell, if that makes sense. Bit of banana? Banana smelling. Like you do, like banana, you will get that with a lot of wheat beers. Um, but I can identify wheat in this. I don't know if it's brewed with wheat or not. I'll soon find out. Anyway, it's probably not brewed with wheat. <laughs> but um, I can identify like a wheatiness. Let's go off the taste deal, guys. So cheers to everyone watching. Thank you for watching. Let's drink Hoffmeister Hills. Looking forward to this one. Cheers, everyone. Mm. Okay, that's really good. That's really good. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that's actually got a really good um, mouthfeel to it, a really good body to it as well. It's not like your typical, I don't know, your typical waggers, your typical beers, that kind of thing. Um, it's got more of a base to it. It's got more flavour to it. Um, let me get that again. It's a tough one, there's quite a lot going on in there. There's a pepperiness, spiciness, a waffly flavour to it, really tasty. I'm going to have to keep filming this up now, aren't I? In fact, I'm going to try it from the bottle. <laughs> I know it's not very professional, but I'm going to try it from the bottle anyway. Not going to tilt the glass, it should be fine. There's not much head retention in this beer whatsoever. Nothing, not any head to it at all. Forgot to put the bottle cap on that one. <laughs> so we really did the back here. Bloody chair, bloody pain. Hoffmeister Hells is exactly the beer you crave. After a long day, Oh yeah, I'd agree with that. Best served chilled. Yeah, it's definitely it's ice cold, guys. Ice cold. Been in the back of the fridge for a while. Um, it's crisp and refreshing, but with characteristics too. Yeah. Sweet, sweet digestive biscuit and honey is followed by the tingle of floral and spicy up bitterness, and then a snappy finish that leaves you craving more. www.hofmeister.co.uk and this is, sorry, I think I forgot to mention this, guys. 5% alcohol volume. <laughs> Pardon me, man. 330ml bottle, 5% alcohol volume. Yeah, that's very clever. Very, very good stuff, that. It's got a, it's got a good body to it, you know, it's not like... I mean, Hell's is a type of lager. It's, um, it's got a kind of pilsner as well, kind of, isn't it? Um, Nice sweetness, nice malt. It's got a crispness to it. It's not light in any way. It's like a medium bodied beer, slash lager. Um, it's got a wheatiness, it's got a pepperiness there. Um, it's also seen honey there. Can't tell you I'm getting honey. <sighs> P 
personally, I'm not getting honey, um, but I'm getting a pepperiness, I'm getting a maltiness, I'm getting a sweetness. Mm. I'm not really finding that honey, really. That's not really well. Well, maybe in the aftertaste you get that kind of sweet honeyness. Maybe. Um, but yeah, personally, pepperiness, sweetness, a lovely body to it. You know, it's not light. It's not like a lager. It's not like a beer. It's actually like it's... That's why it's why hills. It's why hills. And this is a 5% hills at that. <laughs> Yeah, it's good stuff. So I've seen this in my local off license. Um, you know, I was in the area, in the village, where the, oh, the, the village area of where I live. And, you know, um was in that local off license. And I picked up a six pack of Tuborg, because I haven't had that in a while, and it's not been reviewed in the channel yet. So look out for that coming out in the channel. It's there, on the, on the beer wall. It's already up on the beer wall. <laughs> um, where the four pack of this went, yeah. Where the hell did it go? Oh, I can't even really be bothered looking for it. It's probably in the bin. But if it's no, I'll, I'll put it up there. But, um, aye. Hofmeister Bavaria. Imported. Imported, so it's not even, it's not brewed in the UK or anything like that. It's brewed in Bavaria. Woo! Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. <coughs> um, but yeah, good stuff. Take another wee drink, and then I'll give you my final score. Oh, appearance of the bottle. I love that. I love the appearance of the bottle of the beer. Artwork of the bottle. Really, really nice. Drink a little white glare. Really, really nice. There's the back, guys. If you want to read at the back, then there you go. And that's just... Random information. Well, the date is the best by date. 8th of the 10th, 8th of October 2022. Not bad. Pretty fresh, to be honest with you, for being imported. So, yeah, um, the appearance of the bottle, by the way, I love it. Appearance, the, the artwork of the beer, artwork of the bottle of beer is getting a straight up 9.8 out of 10. 9.8 out of 10, because I love it. There's a neck wrap as well. It's got Hoff. So I guess that's the beer's nickname in all these places. I want to have a Hoff. Hoff just makes me think of that stupid guy. Hassle Hoff. Nah, twat. Anyway, final score of the beer. So much characteristics, so much flavour going on. I mean, I am so I am subtly getting that honey now. I don't know if it's because I just read that or not, though. Um, probably. Um, in fact, no. I can't taste it. I can't taste it. My taste buds ain't lying to me. Um, but yeah, it's a breadiness, maltiness. There's a thick body to it, which is really, really complimenting. Um, you know, it's definitely not light, it's definitely not watery or anything like that. Um, it's perfect. Perfect. And 5%, that's good. Good stuff. 640, 6.49 I paid for a 4-pack. Would I pay that for a 4-pack again? Would I buy this? Would I personally buy this again? Like, if I was in a shop and I felt with some beers and I seen that 4-pack sitting there? Yeah, maybe. I probably would. In fact, yeah, I would. I would. I would buy this again. I would buy this again. Sorry, you're going to hear a rumbling in there. A rumbling noise in there. It's because he's sitting on top of this wee mini fridge. <laughs> this is my camera stand, the mini fridge. <laughs> and then I've got my wee table here. <laughs> and that's just a wolf. But anyway, um, my final grade of this. Guys, I'm going to give that a straight up 9.6 out of 10, um, personally. Um, 
Yeah, about a 9.5 to a 9.6 out of 10 for this one. It is really good. It is really good stuff. It's got a good body to it as well. Um, you know, it is good stuff. It is good stuff. A 9.6 out of 10, I think that's what it deserves, personally. Um, I mean, I love how it's got a full body to it. It's got like a wheat beer. If you like wheat beers, then I suggest you buy this one. Um, you know, if you like, if you if you only drink like normal supermarket laggers, then you will be blown away by this stuff. Um, you know, um, I, I I drink supermarket laggers quite a lot. You know, um, honestly, I'm telling you something. Like, see, after a few cures weights, I be I'm usually thinking like, oh, okay, I could do with something like a wee bit more full of body, or a bit more flavour or whatever, you know. If I'm out on the town or something like that, you know. This is what I would go for, especially on draft, because I think this would be really nice to draft as well. So a nine point six out of ten for this one, guys. I think. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Nine point six out of ten. It's five percent. It's a Hell's Lager, German. It's imported from Bavaria. Um, my first time trying this, by the way, my my very first reaction to it. Uh, I've got two more bottles of it in my in this wee fridge here that I'm gonna enjoy. But we we I will enjoy them. Anyway, I gave you my final score of nine point six out of ten for this one, guys. Half myself. Thank you guys for watching. Peace, love, happiness to all. Catch you guys in the next one. Stay positive. Stay happy. Stay awesome. Woo! And keep drinking good beer. Cheers!